Hey guys, this is Miss Brass, and for today's assignment, you are going to watch this video clip about homeostasis in plants. You'll complete the guided note sheet as you watch the video clip, and then you'll respond to the paradigm questions. Let's get started. So far, we have talked about what homeostasis is, and we've talked about homeostasis in the human body. So we know that homeostasis is the maintenance of a stable internal environment. Humans need to maintain lots of different things in the body. We need to have correct water levels. We need to have the correct amount of sugar in our blood. We need to have the correct pH, uh, maintain the correct temperature. Lots of different factors come into play that help to maintain homeostasis in our bodies. Homeostasis occurs through two different mechanisms, which we've talked about in our previous notes, positive feedback and negative feedback. Negative feedback is definitely the most common in the human body. Negative feedback is anything that returns a living thing to homeostasis. So today we're going to talk specifically about plants. Plant cells work best if they have the correct temperature and water level. So plants actually also maintain homeostasis, but they do it a little differently than humans do, of course. So plants maintain homeostasis through the use of their stomata. And stomata are tiny holes that are um, in the leaves of plants. And they open and close in response to some different changes in the plant's environment. So you can see here a picture of what these stomata might look like. If you zoom in on the leaf of a plant, you can see these little holes in the plant leaf. And these holes can open and they can close. And whether they open or close um, will depend on what's going on within that environment. So stomata are tiny holes found in the leaves of plants. Plants open and close their stomata to help maintain homeostasis by maintaining gas and water levels within the plant. So we've talked about how plants are responsible for exchanging some different gases. Remember, they take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, they release oxygen. And they also do cellular respiration. And so during cellular respiration, they will um, take in that oxygen and they'll release that carbon dioxide. So plants are constantly exchanging gases and they also exchange water because we know that plants need water in order to live. So it's super important that they're able to maintain the correct levels of those different things. And so we can see again here a picture of what these stomata would look like. We can see an open stomata is going to allow, allow certain gases and water vapor to come in and out of the plant. But when that stomata is closed, it's kind of like a wall. It's closed off and the plant is no longer um, exchanging that water vapor and gases. So we're going to talk about how the stomata specifically help the plant maintain homeostasis. When stomata are open, water is released from the plant and gases are exchanged. So when it's open, it's like an open door. Water vapor is able to be released from the plant. Gas gases are able to come in and out of that plant freely. When the stomata are closed, however, it's kind of like we're closing this door. So water is then held in the plant and gases are not exchanged. So what this means then is that stomata are more likely to open when the plant is receiving enough water. If the plant has plenty of water, it's going to want to keep those stomata open because that allows it to exchange those gases back and forth that it needs in order to do photosynthesis and cellular respiration. However, if there's a drought and for some reason the plant is not getting enough water, the stomata are more likely to be closed. And so the plant will do that. It'll close its stomata to help maintain homeostasis. And that allows the plant to hold the water in so that water is not released so that it can maintain the correct water levels in the plant. 
This is an example of negative feedback because the plant corrects the imbalance to return to homeostasis. So if the plant is sensing that it's not getting enough water, it might be starting to dry out, it closes its stomata to prevent the water loss, and that helps bring the plant back to homeostasis. So I have a few different questions now that I'd like you to go ahead and respond to. You are welcome to use your notes for the questions.